Well, hello, my name is Sarah from 10 Minute Momentum. And today I have uh, the goal of showing you how I go about organizing my brain when it comes to buying school supplies, curriculum, all the things for both homeschooling and school. I have kids in both places. And so when all the lists come out, the co-op, the school, the uh, my kids take a class at a, a science center, like all these lists come out with curriculum and school supplies and my brain kind of wants to explode. And so I had to come up with a way to, you know, feel calm and organize my thoughts and get everything on one document before I start buying and, um, you know, so I can get everybody organized as calmly as possible. So I want to show you the document that I created. You can get a copy of that if you want. It's a Google Doc. If you want it, it's going to be in the, um, in the description and you can grab that. And um, yeah, let's hear, here we go, let's do it. All right, so here we go. This is my school supply master shopping list. I probably should rename it school supply and curriculum master shopping list because I realized after I put this together that I needed the curriculum on here too. So it's really simple, right? You've seen the lists that come out. Maybe you make your own list of supplies to buy. Maybe somebody else is telling you what to buy. So this list is pretty comprehensive. It's got all the things you might expect to find on a list and then some, the kinds of pens, highlighters, um, erasers, rulers, both six and 12 inch, you get the idea, right? And then we move on to paper and binders, the different things that teachers request. Even in college, some of this stuff ends up being requested. Um, yeah, note cards and composition notebooks. And then there's the assorted things, the glue. Sometimes they ask for headphones or a whiteboard, I don't think that's on here. Um, and then at the very bottom, there's a place for you to add your curriculum. Now this could be curriculum that you, you're, um, you already have, and you just wanna have it all in one place, you wanna make a list, or this could be curriculum that you know you need to buy, and that's how I'm going to use it. I'm gonna show you how I just go through my lists and I'm gonna fill this in. I haven't bought the curriculum that I need to buy for this year. I have obviously plenty that I can use um, from my stash, but we participate in a co-op and so I will need to buy some things. All right, so I'm gonna switch over to my desk and show you how this gets filled in. Okay, so here we go. I've got my school supply master shopping list and just to keep things tidy, I'm going to go ahead and staple it because I don't like having pieces of paper mixed all over. In fact, I've done that with the, my kids' uh, school school supply list, our co-op list. They're in a science center. These ones aren't stapled because they're two separate uh, lists. But um, the way I'm going to go through this is I'm going to go page by page and I'm going to work pencil. All right, I'm going to work with pencil because... Um, I'm probably going to end up with a few numbers here before I'm done and it's going to be easier if everything is in pencil. So my seventh graders list, he needs a pack of colored pencils for science. So I'm going to just put one there, two large paper book covers. Now this might not be on my list. Oh yes, it is. It's here. So we're going to put two of those here. And then he needs two packs of highlighters, any color. So I'm just going to work back and forth here. Two packs of highlighters, any color. So I'm going to put that there. And pencil. 
pencils, 24 pencils. Two large erasers. You can see I'm just working through this list. And this might seem like kind of a waste of time because I mean, this is a little bit slow. We could just take these lists to Walmart and, you know, save ourselves the trouble of, you know, going through and making one master list. But the reason I do this is I have a huge stash of school supplies and like last year I bought way too much wide ruled paper. Like I probably have like 20 packs. I don't know what happened. I think my husband bought it and I bought it. We bought way too much. And so we have too much of that paper. I don't want to have to buy that again. My son needs five packs of that paper. But so before I go through and um, actually go to the store to purchase, I'm actually going to shop my own closet and my own supplies. So over here is the column where it's supplies that are needed. And then over here, it is, um, you can put how many you need to purchase and then you can mark it off after you purchase. So I know I have a ton of wooden pencils. So my son needs 24, I've probably got like 200 of them. So I'm not gonna end up buying any. I'm writing what he needs for everything and then I'm not going to end up having to buy everything on this side. If I went to Walmart and just started shopping off of the list that we got from the school, I would probably way over buy because I wouldn't know what's in my closet and drawers at home. So this is just my method. And then after I do the school supplies, I'm gonna come back to it and do the curriculum. All right, so I have finished filling in all the school supplies. It's probably hard to see, but I've got, you know, this column of needed all filled in. And I also realized that, yeah, there were some categories I had missed. So I'm going to go back and add those to this document. Um, but now I'm going to work on the curriculum. And so I'm going to use the same process. Now, my kids that are in school, I don't need to buy any curriculum, right? But sometimes they have other random weird things they need, like special calculators or a gym uniform or something like that. Um, maybe I would add that here if I didn't need curriculum. Um, I'm going to adjust this to give a few extra lines. But um, so I'm going to go through my homeschool co-op, though, and I'm just going to go child by child. So I have a kiddo who's in... Um, this first kindergarten and first grade class and it says that every child should bring a snack and a water bottle uh, for second period every week so I'm going to just I don't need to buy curriculum for that class but I'm just going to add water bottle to my list so I make sure I've got it and snacks Again, it's not really a curriculum thing. I'm just trying to get prepared. I'll have a stash. Um, here I see that my son needs science in the ancient world for his science class. And he needs the word ladder book for language arts. And it looks like his teacher is providing the activities for history. And I also have a seventh and eighth grader. And so here he's got this apology of physical science and the notebook. And he also needs a Bible study book for season one of The Chosen. Um, and 
He also needs the Not Grass Uncle Sam and You book one. I already own that, so I'm not going to add that to my list. And I already added the school supplies there. So that's all from that list. And then my kids take classes at a science center. And there, my son needs geology by design. And my other kids need chemistry and ecology master books. Okay, so now obviously this is not all the curriculum I'm using for my kids because there would be some big gaps. Um, but a lot of what I am going to use, I already have. Um, either in the form of curriculum or um, unit studies that I'm going to print off or I'm going to put together something. I have a lot of curriculum already. So for me, uh, most of what I have to order is the resources that are required to participate in the classes we're signed up for. So I hope you uh, found that helpful. Now I can just mark things off as I buy them and, you know, Maybe some of it gets purchased online. Maybe some of it gets purchased in the store. This is a Google Doc. So you actually could fill all this in on your doc. You could keep it on your phone and mark it off as you go. So if you download this shopping list, make sure you make a copy of it. You won't be able to edit the document that's there. Make a copy of it and then you can edit it for yourself. If there's some categories you know you'll never use, you can just delete them. And if there's other things that I don't have, no problem. You can just add them to the list and customize it for the kind of shopping you need to do. All right. I hope you found that helpful. Um, if you have questions, definitely um, put them in the comments below. And I hope you will come back again and uh, watch more videos with helpful educational and parenting tips. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll like and subscribe. Thanks so much for stopping by.